Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one I look forward to each and every month. My scent and warmer of the month kit has arrived, so it is time to share the July 2022 scent and warmer of the month with you guys. This video is a little bit different than what it typically is. Typically, I like to do the unboxings, first impressions, first sniffs, but fun fact. <laughs> I literally just recorded this video and my camera gave me an error message right at the tail end and it recorded none of it. <laughs> so I was like, please, please tell me that it at least picked up some of it. I just plugged it into my computer and nothing. <laughs> so it's actually already put together. I've already smelled the scent. I did do it with you guys, but it just wasn't documented. <laughs> So we're gonna give it another shot and here's hoping that my camera doesn't act up because I don't know that I can do this again. <laughs> so, all right, it is that time where we are given the opportunity as consultants to purchase either the scent of the month kit or the scent and warmer of the month kit to be able to get our hands on these things a little bit early to be able to share them with you. Um, in case you are newer to Scentsy or newer to my channel, hello and welcome. Scentsy has a jam-packed, fantastic seasonal catalog but something that they do that I think is absolutely amazing is there is a special scent and a special warmer that is not featured in the seasonal catalog that changes up every single month. It's only available while supplies last, but it's something super fun that we can look forward to each and every month. So I love that. And then also during the featured month, the scent and the warmer are on sale, but July almost everything in the catalog is on sale. So because we're actually getting ready to gear up for our fall and winter season. I know, I know we are like smack dab <laughs> into summer right now, but we are getting ready for the fall and winter season with Scentsy. So we're going to run a sale in July. So, um, but the scent and warmer of the month is always on sale during the featured month. And then if it is available beyond that featured month, then um, it bumps back up to regular pricing. So Without further ado, let's do this again. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the scent. The scent, you guys, is Desert Tropics, and I am so ex I am so excited about this scent. is so good for my friends who love fruity scents. For my friends who love fruit punchy type scents, this is not going to be one that you're going to want to miss. Let, let me just show you. Like as soon as I was done with the video, like I. I honestly thought it would have picked up all the footage. I just thought, cause it just was the very tail end. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Picked up none of it. Um, but you can see I already, <laughs> I already took out a couple cubes. I I had the warmer set up and like it, it's staying at home with mama and this scent, I was I was ready to start warming, but I had to pop it out. Put that on hold there for a second. <laughs> so let's talk about this scent, you guys. It is so good. It's tropical fruity. It's pineapple, it's mango, it's berries. What I love about this, because I, I'm picky when it comes to fruit punch scents. Fruit punch scents to me can be done overly sweet, a little too cloying, uh, very easily. But th what I love about this is that there's like an acidic note or a, a citrusy note in it that is just kind of like the acid note just kind of cuts through the sweetness ever so slightly, but at, still adds to the fruity element. It is so good. And it honestly, I had opened up the bat, the Mylar pouch and like the scent hit me. I was like, oh, this is going to be a strong one. So I am here for the strong scents too. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be a keeper, I think. And I, I had Sean smell it already. I was like, cause he loves fruity scents and this, I feel like it's not the same, but I feel like if you like Blue Grotto, um, I feel like you're gonna like this. I kind of wanna warm these in alternating warmers, Blue Grotto and this Desert Tropics. I kind of wanna warm these in like alternating warmers throughout the house. I think it would be so beautiful, but oh my gosh, so good. So let me tell you what Scentsy actually describes this as. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. So Scentsy says, Desert Tropics, a bright array of tropical berries, dragon fruit, lush mango, and pineapple come alive after a, de a desert rain. So, so good. So good. <laughs> if you love good fruity scents, I think you're really going to like this one. Oh, 
Oh, she's a keeper. She is a keeper. One thing that I do really like that Scentsy does is they actually break down the top, mid, and base notes for us, so that way we can see exactly what we're smelling. And um, so let's let's go ahead and talk about that. And I'll, I'll explain what top, mid, and base notes are in case you are newer here. Hello and welcome, like I said. Um, so I wish Scentsy would give us the top, mid, and base notes for all the scents. I think it would be kind of hard to do, but I really like that because it does explain a little bit more about what we're smelling when we're smelling it. So the top notes are pineapple and tropical berries. So top notes, that's when you're smelling the wax in its solid form. So those are the top notes that you're smelling. Then you have mid and base notes. So those mid and base notes come out when it's warming. So sometimes if, you're, if you take a scent, and you smell it on cold like this, and then you warm it, sometimes it will change a little bit. And that's because there are mid and base notes that you're not smelling typically when it's in its solid form. You now the dogs are going crazy, of course. <laughs> this is how my day's going, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so sometimes when you're warming a scent and you smell it on cold, but then you warm it, then some different, it kind of changes a little bit. So that's because of those mid and base notes that are coming out as you're warming it. So the mid notes are dragon fruit, mango, and agave. So good. It's so good. And then base notes are sandalwood and musk. So I don't smell much of the sandalwood or musk. I was attempting to warm it, as you can see. <laughs> I was attempting to warm it, but I haven't had a chance to actually warm it just yet. Once I warm it, um, I will let you know. So um, stay tuned for my weekly, like what I've been warming video, and I'll let you know how this performs and if it changes at all when it's warming, but it smells like it's gonna be strong. So I am definitely here for it. So um, Desert Tropics. So that is going to be available starting July 1st in a Scentsy Bar, Room Spray, or Scent Circle. So I love this color too. It's so pretty. It's a really pretty light coral color. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's talk about the warmer. <laughs> I just feel I'm so bummed, man, because I like to do unboxings and now the unboxing was done and I was chatting with you guys and assembling it together. <laughs> So here you have it. We have Wild Desert as the warmer of the month for July 2022. So as I was starting to say, th there is some assembly required. It does come here. Let me see if I can do this without breaking anything or spilling things or whatnot. Okay. I'll show you kind of how it comes. It was super easy to put together. So don't be intimidated if you're like, oh gosh, I'm going to have to put it together. I don't know. It's, it's super simple. So this is how it, it comes. This is all one piece. I like that. And that's why I like to do the unboxings with you. So you can see exactly like how I was putting it together. So that way you can see you can totally do this. So, um, this is the base of it. So it's, it's a metal base. I love this like kind of copper finish here. Only one of one of these situations, only one of these little areas is going to take the bulb. So it comes with a 20 watt bulb. So you'll just screw that in there. And then you do get a couple of clear um, containers. So these little succulents, they, they will just be sitting in the box here. And then these rocks are sitting in a, you can see, I just wanna kind of show you. So it comes with the rocks and all of this stuff, but it all comes separate. So you will need to assemble it. But I, I like that because if you wanna change it up or put your own succulents in there, or maybe change it up for each season with different like seasonal things, um, you can totally do that too. But it's super, super simple. Um, so the clear containers that are going to come with it, one's a larger, one's a smaller, those are made for the succulents. So you are going to put the rocks in here and you'll put the succulents just right in there, just like that. And then you're going to get a frosted glass dish. So we know that this is the glass dish because on the bottom, that's, the, that's what I was explaining in my first video that you guys didn't see. Um, on the bottom of these, it has the same kind of logo as is on the bottom of most of our warmer dishes. So it can be kind of confusing. But what sets this apart is that you've got the two that are clear. The frosted dish is what is going to be the actual warmer dish. Not only that, but um, this also has a number four where the clear containers do not. So the little number four is indicating how many wax cubes you can put into your warmer. I always stay with two, uh, but if you're doing some mixing or you just feel like you get better performance out of more cubes, just make sure you're not going over four cubes in this particular warmer. So, okay, let's go ahead. We'll reassemble kind of sort of together. 
So we have this, um, this is just a little plastic piece here, this little plastic shade. I really like this because it's gonna soften the glow of this warmer, um, but I do wanna point out there is a right and wrong way to put this on because you have this little cutout here. You're gonna wanna line that up with the cord that is giving power to the light bulb. So you're just gonna wanna line that up just like so, and that just slips on just like that. So that's gonna give you a nice soft glow because it's not completely see-through, so it's gonna kind of soften that glow ever so slightly. So you've got this. So now we have the shorter clear container is gonna go in the shorter opening. So, okay, nothing broke. <laughs> We're good. So we've got that. And then we have the taller clear container goes like so. So now you have your succulents. And what I love about this, because we have some other succulent warmers currently, we've got the Desert Bloom, which was actually a warmer of the month. We have the Succute Lent warmer. We also have the Aloe Vera warmer. We have the Little Garden warmer. So if you have those, this is gonna go great in your collection. But what I love about this one that's different from those, there's a light bulb in this one. All those other ones, um, they're super cute and they I love the succulents because your girl here does not have a green thumb. <laughs> I kill all things green. Um, so this, you don't have to worry about killing. <laughs> you don't have to worry about keeping this alive. But what I love about this one that sets it apart from the others, this has a subtle glow from the light bulb. The other ones are element warmers, meaning that it has those, those warmers have um, heating elements, just hot plates that the dish sits on um, and it warms the wax that way. This has an actual light bulb, so it's giving you some glow. So let's go ahead and check out how pretty this is. I already set this up. <laughs> Right after the the, vid, the first video was done, I went ahead, I set it up in the guest room. I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I called Sean over like, how pretty is this? He's like, oh yeah, that's great. Um, I really love this. <laughs> I really, really love this. So let's check this out. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love, love, love the soft glow. It's so pretty. I love that this is all one piece. The metal and the weight of this, it makes it a very sturdy warmer. So this is not, this is not flimsy in any kind of way. Um, and I love the versatility of this. So if you are wanting to do some different seasonal decor, the, you can totally change these out super easily. I love this. So this is the warmer of the month for July, 2022. I don't know if I said it or not, but this comes with a 20 watt bulb and you can play around with the different colored bulbs if you want to. You can, it'll give you a totally different look, um, which is super fun. So let's turn my lighting back on here. I just love this. I think it's, and what I, I, what I love about this is you can keep this out all year. It's not super like season specific or anything. It's very, very versatile. It's very pretty you can't kill the plants <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's fun. And something versatile that you can keep out all year. It's not season specific and it's just really pretty. It's definitely a part of your home decor as well as your home fragrance. So since he says about our warmer of the month, wild desert is a trendy and modern design takes desert landscaping to a whole other level, includes faux succulents and decorative stones. So you can make it your own. So five inches tall, 20 Watts. And this is going to be available starting July 1st for $67 and 50 cents. If this is available beyond July, this will bump up back up to $75 original pricing. So, so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so yes, there is some assembly that's required. It's very easy. It's totally worth it. And I think it's absolutely adorable. This is just so, so stinking cute. I love the succulents. I love that I can't kill them. And I love that they're versatile and I can, I can switch it out if I want to. So as always, I am offering to take pre-order. So if you'd like to be added to my order list, I will go ahead and put my um, link, my order form down below in the description. If you'd like me to place your order for you, you don't have to be local to me. Um, everything ships directly to you. So you don't have to worry about any of that. So I can take care of it for you. So you don't have to mess with it. So love, love, love. If you already have a consultant you're already working with, hit them up, get on their order list because this is too dang cute. I would not be surprised if this does not last through July. It's so cute. <laughs> it is so cute. And like I said, if you have the other succulent warmers or one or two of the succulent warmers, this would definitely add to your collection really, really nicely. So 
I love it. This one's a keeper. She's staying home with mama and now I cannot wait to warm the scent. <laughs> I was so excited when I first recorded this video. I was like, yes, put this in all the warmers. <laughs> it's like, I must smell it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Highly, highly, highly recommend. So, all right, you guys, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys, if this does not record, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right, you guys, have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.